Hey, welcome to uh, Courtside with Coach Billy Hahn. Uh, this is another lovely weather night. It you know, follows me every Tuesday night when we do this. I just have unbelievable luck with the weather. So we had to rain all day today. At least a couple of weeks ago, it was all kinds of snow, so I guess we should be thankful it's only rain. My guest tonight, you guys remember him? Wish we had him right now, because I'll tell you what, he won a lot of ball games during his career as a player for WVU. My man, Daryl Truck Bryant. Oh, th your pleasure, dog, pleasure. your dog. Pleasure, I appreciate you having me. How about that, man? You know what, Truck, uh, I'm going to have about three, I got about three or four things I want to talk about in my segments. First thing I want to talk about is Truck Bryant, high school basketball in New York City. Talk about, talk about what made you become such a good player. Uh, give a little people the background about your high school days, where you played, that type of – educate them a little bit. All right, well, as you you know, but I'm yeah. from uh, <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, and Brooke, yep. I actually went to school an hour away from my house in the Bronx at St. Raymond's High School. Right. All boys school, and it was tough being there, but, I mean, it was an amazing school, and I had amazing coaches there to help me get ready to come to y'all. Right. Uh Maybe you could tell everybody how many players that you faced in high school that are unbelievable players, went on to college, are in the pros right now. I mean, the first one in my mind is your guy from the Charlotte Hornets. That's your, that's your main man, that's isn't my, it? That's my main man. That's your man. boy, right? That's my main man. Who is that now? Uh, tell them. Kim, Kim, well, Kim. Gro growing up, Kimba Walker, yeah. one, of my, one of my best friends and uh, – He's been blessed to, I mean, be right. a three-time All-Star, four-time All-Star now, and uh, he's doing a heck of a job for himself and his family. In the All-Star Games in Charlotte this year. In Charlotte, and he's a he, starter. He, and he's a starter. <laughs> Think about that. That's amazing. That place would be going crazy. Going crazy just for him. He went to UConn. UConn. All right, give me some other people that you played against. Jo other names. Jordan Theodore, also one of my best friends. He went. To, we played against him, coach. He's uh, Seton Hall. Seton Hall. Gotcha. Last year made a hundred thousand dollars a month in Europe. Really? Yeah. So he's so he's successful in Europe. Yep. Uh, tell these people a little bit about how WVU ended up recruiting you and why you came. From Brooklyn, New York, to Morgantown, West Virginia. Tell everybody how you got here. Well, first, first, it, um, I had a, a great summer of playing with the New York Gauchos in the summer. And that's when, obviously, I knew you before all the recruiting and everything. But that's when Coach Harrison got in contact and Coach Hugs got in contact with my high school coach. And then... I guess I'll see y'all. I start seeing y'all at all my games. <laughs> we, we, we always were your games. Were. <laughs> I start seeing y'all at all yeah, my games. Yeah. And then uh, when I came on my visit, it's funny because I had a, at least three visits set up. Right. But I didn't go on my visits because when I came here, it felt like such a family. Right. And it wasn't too far for my mother to get to the games because my you, mother always comes to the games. You game. could tell right away, huh? Right away. How about the uh, – remember the time that I came – Speaking of Seton Hall, we had, you had that high school basketball tournament at Seton Hall's gym. Yes, I remember. And I, <laughs> I came. I think I came in. I think I came in at halftime, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you came in at halftime. Or half after time. the game. Was it after the game? No, it was, it was right before the game. Before actually. the game? You was in the locker room before the game. Right. And I had a teammate uh, named Lenny McNeil. I'll never forget this story. As <laughs> well, long as, uh, <laughs> you can tell what I do. What I, as long as I'm alive. I'll tell, me, tell, tell him what I said you to Lenny. You, he was a bigger guy. He was a bigger guy. You, and Coach Hahn <laughs> came up to Lenny McNeil and said, are you like cheeseburgers, huh? I said, it, it looked like you eat a lot of cheeseburgers to, the, to my teammate Lenny. And I said, oh, oh yeah. coach is crazy. You couldn't believe that, could you? <laughs> All right, let's uh, – came to Morgantown. Played for Bob Huggins. What was that like for you to play for Coach Huggins? Oh, I mean, it was amazing. Start with your freshman year 
and how it progressed. Because your freshman year, that was a learning experience for you. A learning experience. Right? Yes. You were blown away. And Me. Besides Coach Huggins, this was the guards coach. So he, he <laughs> Coach Hahn made sure all the guards was doing what they needed to do. And I'll tell you one thing. Coach Hahn had me under treadmill so much that year. Oh, my God. I got better the next year, though. So it was okay. Chuck, you remember the drill? You had to stop somebody to get out? From half court, yes. From half court. Oh, I remember. We were working on straight line drives, defending a straight line drive. And we started full speed from half court. The guy had to, what did you get, like three stops in a row? Three stops. Three, three stops, stops in a row, you get out. Well, my man truck his freshman year, I bet he was out there for 45 minutes. He couldn't, he couldn't get three stops he in a row. He couldn't get three stops. Even the walk-ons were scoring on me. And he was... Uh, he was begging me. You were begging me to come out. Oh, look who walked in. Oh, hey, Kevin hey, Jones. Hey, <laughs> Kevin Jones. Hey, Kevin Jones. We got alumni weekend this weekend. What's up, KJ? Little break? <laughs> K Kevin Jones, man, how are you? All right. Huh? The t yeah, the two legends. This is <laughs> the two legends. Yeah. This guy is the legend. <laughs> two legends in our own minds. <laughs> yes. Not in our own time, in our own minds. Own minds, believe me. Hey, KJ, did you get in today? Yesterday. Yesterday? You're not missing a whole lot. What's going on? I got you. So... From your freshman year to your sophomore year until your senior year, how did it progress? What was it like to play for Coach Huggins? What was uh, the seasons like? What are your, some of your what are some of your favorite memories during your career? Oh well, from freshman year to sophomore year, I think the biggest the biggest transition for me was to learn how to play defense because that's the toughest thing. Right. And learn your philosophy and Coach Huggins' philosophy that he had going on. And right. That was uh, pretty tough. But other, other than that, I mean, uh, from my sophomore to junior to senior, I knew everything at that point. So right. it was just uh, – I think the only difference is we was winning a lot of games. So, okay, even if I did mess up, I'll still be out there because we, we, we had we, some room for error. We were good, weren't we? We were pretty good. How many games did you win in your four-year career? You remember? I, I don't know, but I, I, for sure in the hundreds. Up in the hundreds, for right? For sure. I, I had one year. I remember me and KJ senior year. And we was 19-11. We still made the NCAA tournament. 19-11 still made the tournament. Still made the tournament. And how far did we go in the tournament that year? We lost first round Gonzaga that, that year. Gonzaga first round? Yeah. Where was that game held at? You remember? Pittsburgh. Oh, that was the game. They smoked us. Oh, yeah, they smoked us by like 20. Oh, my, wow. When they smoked us, I remember that. They smoked us by 20. I we have, we haven't had a whole lot of good luck against Gonzaga. No, not at all. Gonzaga's, boy, they got our number. You know what's funny, though, Coach? There's something about them. Like, I, I don't know why, yeah. but they just play super hard. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, uh, so let's go transition now from your college career. Now you go and you're a pro. You go overseas and you're playing ball for money. <laughs> tell me and tell our fans out there and our listeners where you've been from your time you graduated each year. You've been out six years now? Six years it's now. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I've been out six years Six now. years. I've been I've been everywhere though. I've been Tell the, me. Dominican Dominican Republic. Right. And, and, and each one that you start Okay, each start, one, start each, to finish. Talk talk yeah, start to start to finish and tell tell us about each when you say the first one, tell us like what it was like little, living little, there and Okay. All right, so first I had a, a crazy offer coming out of college in Lithuania. I didn't know any better, so I didn't take it. You did not take I it. I did not take it. So All after right. that I had an offer to go to the Dominican Republic because of my high school coach and his connections out sure. there. So I, I say, okay, I'll go. Oh, right. amazing time. Amazing time. One practice a day, games, just relax. Good Money's in cash. Good, good, good. Good deal. Good, good deal. 
good deal. So the, the next Dominican year, Republic was a good place to a live. Great, a great place. Right. Good great looking place. women. Every, oh. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I knew that. And then uh, after that, I went to Austria. Austria. Austria is in Europe. And, and what I, happened there? It was an amazing place. Good you know, place. Good, good stepping stone for my career. Did you like it? I, I liked it. I liked like it. living there. It was nice living there too. Ger- right. German speaking country, so it was, right. you know, it was nice. Next place, I went to Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Go very ahead. different. Believe me. Go ahead. Very different. I, I enjoyed it a little bit, but it was very different. That's the first time I went somewhere and people were staring at you everywhere you go. Yeah. Nobody speak English. Right. So this is a little difficult transition for me. Right. But I end up leading the league in scoring. Wow. Wow. So then, so then the next year I got a, a very a good be, job. A better deal, right? A very good job in uh, Italy. I played in Siena, Italy. He went to Italy. KJ actually came to visit me when he had that, a break. How about that? Good job, yeah. KJ. So KJ came to visit me in Italy. Right. I had a break for a week. Then I went to visit him. He was in Serbia at the time. Right, right. Then the next year, I played super well, in, super well in Italy. I was first team. Right. So now everything is getting good. Everything is getting good. Right. Next year, I go to Greece, another good country. So Italy and Greece right now, those are my top two countries besides right. Finland. Right. Because everybody speaks English, of right. course. Okay, gotcha. And... Uh, after Greece, I didn't finish the whole season there. It was a lot of money issues going on with the team, and right. I just couldn't take it. So I ended up finishing the season in Finland. Go ahead. And end up facing against Jawan in the in the championship game. Oh, Juwan really? Staten. Really? Yeah, we end up winning the championship, but it was it was good. You, you was beat good. Wani in the championship, in the championship game. Championship. Really? So I mean, that was good. Then after that, the next year, I went to Bulgaria. Okay. I went to Bulgaria. I played on a very good team. It's like the only. It's the team who's supposed to win the right, Bulgarian league right, and right. supposed to win Balkan league. Right, right. So I liked the country, and it was good for me because one of my teammates that I played with in Greece, he was my teammate in Bulgaria. Oh, really? Yeah, so me That's and him cool. are like kind of close, super yeah, I close got, now. Yeah, got you, got you. So two years with him, and then this year I went to Georgia. Yeah. I was impatient, so I just wanted to go play basketball, right. make money, and right. uh, so I went to Georgia. Right. And I, I didn't like this, the worst that country. That was the worst country I, I've ever been to in my life. That's why you came home. And I came home, so I'll be going somewhere soon to finish the season. I got you. All right, now that's your that's your career. Let's give the, our our viewers an idea where all your teammates are at right now, because a lot of people ask me. And you guys move from place, place to, place to place every year. I don't know where everybody's at. So, yeah. like, go through each guy and tell them where they're at. So, right now, um, obviously, Kevin Jones is here, but he's on break. Right. He's playing in Japan. He's in Japan. We have Devin E. Banks. Okay, where's Devin he Devin E. Banks, he's in France. Actually, the top scorer in France. He's the top scorer in France right now. Yep. Go ahead. We have uh, Devin Williams is in Turkey. He's teammates with Dennis Kalichla. Get out of here. Yeah, that teammates. Hold on a second. You're telling me Devin Williams and the Turk? Are teammates. Get out of here. They, really? I yeah, did not know that. They're teammates really? right now. Really? Good, good for him. Tavon Myers is in Sweden. Right. Tariq Phillip is on Memphis Hustle in the G League. NBA I know. I've, League. I've been following him. I'll tell you, you know, what. Well. He's, he's playing well. He's playing well. I mean, my goodness oh, gracious. He's playing His well. His numbers. I've been checking out every box score. He filling the whole box. Oh my score. gosh! He's yeah. He's he's yeah. He box, sure he's is. Filling the box score. Shooting the ball better than he's better. ever shot it. Yeah, better. I guess he's a pro now. Right. He put the hours how about to uh, it. how about Deshaun Butler? Deshaun Butler is in Israel right now. In Israel. Jerusalem, a, re- a very good team. Good team. A very good team. Is very he doing good, good? He's doing good. He is. He's doing good. Okay. How about uh, De- Deshaun Page? Deshaun Page is in France right now. France. So, I gotta think he's killing. Yeah, he's. That's he's, just my guess. He's in a league. Under, he's in a league under E Banks, but I, I'm pretty sure he's playing pretty well too. That's my guess too. I don't know, but that's my guess. Because Jay Sean could score. He the could ball, score. Man. He could score. He could but score. you know what? All of our guys that you were talking about. Uh-huh. How about Alex Ruoff? Where he's? Where's he at? Ruoff and Jawan Staten is on the same team right now. So and we got Devin Williams and, Tur- and the Turk on, on the, the same, same team. team. And Jawan. We got Jawan Staten. Alex Ruoff. And Alex Ruoff on the same on team. On the same. T- they're in Finland. And they're in Finland. They're in Finland. That's gotta be pretty cool. John Flowers. We miss yeah. John. John is uh, John been doing 
Central South America for like the last two years, right. and I think right now he's like in Ar Argentina, maybe. Really, Argentina, I want to say. Was John in Venezuela for a while? He was, he was last that year. That place is scary. Scary. He oh, he told me. I, he showed I mean, me. Yeah, it's scary, right? Ri riots. Right. Riots outside the house. Right. Right. Did you all the places you've been? Do you ever feel uncomfortable or threatened or not accepted or a little, little? Looking over your shoulder all the time, a little nervous. You know what, Coach? I I I I, I couldn't say I, I was. Really? I, I That's was, pretty good. Not in no places I've been to. Right. I, I would say the worst place was where I just left, and that's because of how everything looked. Uh, they told me that they had a war with Russia. I want to say. Right. I don't know when it was, but right. they had war with Russia. It looked like the war was still going on. That's how bad the place. Really? Looked. That's bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So unlike me. When I would come to the Bronx in Brooklyn, I was always looking around my shoulder, man. I, 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 go, what, you know? I still look over my shoulders that I'm from there. <laughs> you know what? You know, you know what, truck? People don't, people don't understand. People don't really understand uh -huh. about the places we've been. And we, we've been in the streets. Mm -hmm. If my mother and father my 40 years of coaching, if they had any idea where I was, they'd go, oh, my God. My wife, my wife for 42 years, she knows a little bit, but she don't know the whole deal. Yeah, crazy. Hey, and, I t and here, here's what I appreciate more. I've always said this. For a black guy, to be somewhere where he's the only black guy. That's a little crazy because I, 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 I got a feeling, I, you know, what it's like because how you know, many times I was the only white guy <laughs> yeah. in, 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 a, in an all-brotherhood bar? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know me, you know me. I'm going to do what I have to do to get a player. Oh, for sure. So guess what? Coach Hahn used to go to all the bars mm -hmm. with the high school coach or the AU coach, you know, yeah. drink yeah. a few – Coca-Cola's, you know? Yeah. A <laughs> <laughs> few whispers. A <laughs> few whispers. A few whispers, right? A few whispers. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you really – It's a. it was a great understanding for me to see what it's got to be like for a black person in an all-white society. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because all of a sudden, I reversed it, and I, I wasn't the only white guy. I didn't, only white I'm going to tell you yeah. something, man. It's crazy. God, you know, mm -hmm. and there's so many ignorant people. In the world, period. In our world. Period. I mean, just ignorant. Yeah. Ignorant people that don't know because they don't know because they're they're ignorant. They've never been educated. And they've never been anywhere. Never been anywhere. <laughs> never been anywhere. So that's that's crazy. Yeah, Are we leaving anybody else out uh, that used to play here? John Houghton. John Houghton is oh, in, yeah, Jonathan he's in the same country as John Flowers right now. So I think they're both in Argentina. Is that where they're both at? Yeah, I think they're both in Argentina. Uh, anybody else we're missing, KJ? I think we got everybody, right? Joe Alexander. Yeah, he's where's he at? He's in Turkey. Daxter Miles is a Phoenix Suns uh, G League, the G League team, and Joe Alexander's in Turkey. So, Devin, wow, Turk, and and Whoa. and Joe Alexander oh all my. took a picture oh. together. Oh and, my God! Uh, and they they're killing Joe Alexander. Oh my God! He looks so little next to them. How K about man, that? me KJ and Hugs was talking about it earlier. All right, now that we talked about everybody, I just want to confirm this. Are we having this team come together to play in that million dollar? What's that? What's that tournament called? The oh yeah, the million dollars. That that, that would work for me. The only thing is, Coach Hahn is getting everybody together because for sure we could win it. Isn't uh, I thought John Flowers was putting TBT. That yeah, TBT. TB TBT TBT. What uh uh. John Flowers is supposed to be putting that together. To put it together, you supposed to be you supposed to be on board. You Missoula. Me and Missoula is supposed to coach. Yeah, and uh, obviously one of our sponsors, 
and then the team. And I tell you what, I, why couldn't we win that thing? Oh, we could. I believe it. I, I mean, believe we could. I think we could win it. I think the hardest thing, Ben, because E. <laughs> e Banks was here. E. Banks was here, but now he moved to Atlanta. Right. Joe Alexander was here for two days. Now he leaves. Right. KJ is here. John is here. I'm here. Jawan is normally when, when, here. When is that tournament? That tournament, I have no it's idea. It's June or July. Start. I have okay. I want to say it's July. Maybe. Maybe July. I think it's July. End of July? Maybe. Championship games, I think, the first weekend in August. August. Yeah, yeah first week in August. Exactly. You know who runs that tournament? No. Rob Kennedy. I just saw Rob, Rob Kennedy. Rob I just, Kennedy. I just saw Rob Kennedy last week in Allentown when I first got home. Yep. The first day I was home, I saw Rob Kennedy uh, running, actually running the tournament. So <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. He's hustler, isn't he? Yeah, hustler of the year. Wow. I think he prints money. Yeah, me too. I think he's, I think he's got so much money. He don't know what to do with it. All of basketball. All basketball. It's crazy. Hustler. Hustler of the year. Okay. Let's now talk about, were you at Saturday's game versus Texas? No, but I watched every minute of the game. You did? Oh, it was embarrassing for me to watch, really. It was six points at the half. Oh, the played first pretty half, good. Yeah, good. Did all right. Second half. Second half. You know the thing. The thing that I've never, I've never seen this ever. Go it, ahead. Of course, it never happened to us. Go ahead. And I don't think it happened to the teams after either. Right. I just never seen somebody catch so many dunks on a like. It was a dunkathon. Oh, it was a dunk contest. It's like a video game. Yeah. And it's, it's like a video thing, game. Yeah, but it's one thing on a road, coach. You know, we played in some tough environments, but at right. home. Right. 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 At home, no way. At Unbelievable. Home, no way. It was crazy. You know what's crazy about this team truck? I can't understand. We do so many bizarre things that happen. For example, this game, shot went up, Texas shoots, we go to rebound the ball. Texas has nobody to the glass. I mean, they don't, they don't have nobody in the paint. We got three guys rebounding the ball, all next to each other. Ball goes out of bounds <laughs> off us. I'm going like, how does that happen? How does that happen? How does that happen? That's a good question. Then how does that happen? We throw a, I remember the one play where we inbounded the ball after a score. Texas scores. We are now inbounding the ball. Texas is back. Texas is playing half-court defense. I forget who inbounded the ball. But the ball was ready to go out of bounds. L L uh, Prophet, I mean, not Prophet, uh, Lamont West. Lamont West had to dive to keep the ball in play. In, in, in play. I'm going like, wow. I see what you said when you said the most bizarre thing. Bizarre. I, 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 I've seen it all, too. I, a dribble handoff just to the other team. Unbelievable. From the guards. I mean, it's unbelievable. Y yeah, it was, it was so. Crazy. I've said this, and I'll say it again. Not having sags this year, that, in, in, in my mind, is the reason we're having the type of year that we're having. I, I agree. And sags, at the beginning of the season, he came back. And was playing out of was not, not playing out of he was out of character. Everybody told him, "You got you got to be the outside player. You got to shoot. You got to be able to show people you can shoot it." So he bought into that. So what's he do? He he does stuff that he's not capable of doing. You, you know, and like you, Hug always says, "Do what you're good at do what, doing. Do what you're good at." That's what Bob Huggins says. Because you'll make a fool out of yourself. So anyway, hold up, coach. I no, got, he doesn't got, say fool. He doesn't, he doesn't oh, say fool. Yeah, he don't say fool. No, he I got one thing for you, coach. I will never forget this. Dennis Kalichla. Yeah. Took a jump shot. Yeah. And Hugs was so mad. Right. And he was like, "Uh, Dennis Kalichla, said, I'm open, coach. Why, why not shoot it?" He's <laughs> like, "Yeah, Dennis, you're open for a reason." <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the other team said, don't guard you when you got the... Hey, how many, how many uh, players, former players, you guys get around together? How many stories do you have about Coach Huggins, Coach Harrison, Coach Hahn, Coach Martin. It's it's a limited. It's a limited. My me and your story is epic though. Oh, uh, video. Our story's epic. <laughs> our story. Our story's that's gone nationwide. 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 That was crazy. What a that truck. Was, that was crazy. That was funny. That you was know funny. you uh you came out of the game. I was so tired. You were so tired. And this is how it all happened. <laughs> so you come out of the game and you sit next to me, right? And you're tired. All of a sudden, you start coughing uh -huh. and coughing and coughing. And I'm going, yo, dog, you, you, want, you want another hit, dog? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> and, and everybody caught that on camera. Uh, everybody caught it on so camera. So next thing you know, it's on YouTube. It's, every, it's, it's, every, it's everywhere. It's on YouTube. YouTube, everything. It's, it's stupid. Coach, one of Coach yeah, Hines is crazy. It's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Give me a... Uh, Give everybody, besides that, a hugging story with, with, with the Turk. How about a Coach Harrison funny? Oh, Coach, Coach, Har oh, I got Coach a, Harrison Oh, I got funny. a good one. Coach yeah, Harrison. So we was at Cincinnati. Yeah. And, um, Coach Martin was like, Will, Will Thomas could be an All-American at two sports. And uh, Coach Harrison said, oh, yeah, what's the first one? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. I never heard that one. Really? <laughs> yeah. Speaking said, of Will Thomas, what's he doing? Boy. That's my boy. He's he's just here in Morgantown working. Just had another kid. He's doing well. He's doing well for he him is? and his family. Yeah. Is he still living here? Yeah, he's still living here. All right. Uh, how about a Coach Martin funny? Coach, oh, Coach Martin funny. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was. I know uh, you guys got it. <laughs> it was. It was Danny and Turk. It. This was uh, our sophomore. Me and KJ sophomore year. Right. Uh, some if somebody get a block shot, right? Coach Martin a uh, name us a color a color Kool Aid. Of uh, I mean a flavor oh, a flavor Kool Aid. Yeah. So the uh, Danny blocked somebody shot. I said Coach Martin, what flavor was that? He said that was kiwi strawberry. <laughs> no, he didn't. Get out of here. <laughs> kiwi strawberry. Uh, that's one of the best things about playing college basketball. Is like. When all the guys get back together, I got to give you examples. I played at Maryland, and, and I, we have a, on March the 3rd, coming up, they're having an alumni, people, all of the alumni coming back. From 90 years ago, you, you're going, right? I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, 90, exactly right. <laughs> going back. <laughs> play Michigan. Play Michigan at Maryland. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. Oh, that would so, be crazy. So they're going to oh. have a a big luncheon and drinks and hors d'oeuvres and stuff prior to the game. It's a 315 game. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're doing that at noon. Have that, then go to the game. Oh, that's a nice, yeah, that's it's, a nice it's, little it's, deal. Yeah, it's gonna, that's a good gig. Remember, that's, that's your second home. And I, yeah, that's, that is my sure. second home. For sure. But Morgantown will always be Mrs. Hahn. Oh, for and sure. And Billy Hahn's number one spot. I talk about this every week because I have to. Mrs. Hahn would not be living yeah. if it wasn't for oh, believe me, me and being K in Morgantown. Me and KJ know. And uh, being at the Cancer Institute. Uh, you know, it was my, the story of my wife with the ovarian cancer and, and the leukemia. And I know it's uh, probably repetitive every week, but I have to talk about it because... That's a miracle we're looking at it right is, there. It is, really. She's it a miracle. Is. And, it is, and I always I always tell everybody this story, Truck. I, you know, we've been married 42 years. And everybody tells, they all ask my wife, that ovarian cancer and leukemia must have been really tough. She said, no, not really. She said, you want to be married to this guy for 42 years? <laughs> <laughs> she gets me every time. <laughs> so, we we went through the Texas game. Now, you were practice today. Yeah, I was at practice today. Okay, watching. now we know what happened mm -hmm. off the court yesterday. 
Yep. And we'll talk about that on our last part of our show. But now that Issa Ahmad and Wes Harris are gone, and you went to practice today, and with Beto out and Sags out, we got four we got four starters. Four starters. Four starters out. Out. We have no seniors. We have nobody that's been around. Everybody that we're going to play, besides the exception of Lamont, is there anybody else that's? No, that's it. Chase Harler. Oh, and Chase. And Chase, yep. And They're Chase. the only two. That's been here. That ever <laughs> played or experienced at Kansas. <laughs> Oh that's, uh, oh, that's gonna be a, oh, that's gonna be crazy in there. That that. I tell you what, I I I'm gonna tell Doc Metter. I'm gonna tell Randy Metter that when he goes out for the game, mm -hmm. make sure he has an extra roll of toilet paper. Oh, for for, real. The, for the for the young guys because I want to tell you something. Crazy. Wow, different environment. That is a different environment. Those guys would be might might have a few accidents in their pants. Yeah, huh? for real. Uh, you know the good thing, though. I mean, obviously we've been having a rough year, but Kansas don't have their whole team either. Kansas they is They have not. about four people out, too. If you're going to catch Kansas. This is the perfect time to catch This is the perfect them. year to catch them. Perfect. You know, we know we beat Kansas. Yeah. Without sacks. Yeah. At home. I got to take I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a little, little piece, tiny, tiny piece of sand on the beach. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a little piece of the sand from that beach. You'll like this. You guys went around. So I go to the shoot-around mm -hmm. for the Kansas game. Yeah. And we had lost like six, seven in a row. We're playing god-awful. And they're getting ready to huddle up at half court. Huggy Bear's beside himself. He don't want to talk to nobody. So I said, hey, Hugs, I said, do you mind if I go out and talk to these guys for a couple minutes? <laughs> Hugs says, Billy. He said, go ahead. They don't listen to my ass no more. He said, they ain't listening to what I say. He said, maybe you could talk to them. So Hugs stayed on the sideline. He stayed over on the sideline. That's why I went out there, Chuck. I went out there and I said, fellas. I pointed at Hugs. I said, see that, see that guy over there, Coach Huggins? I said, fellas, you know what? You guys know, understand, you're killing my man. You're killing my man. That guy is dying. He's dying because you're not playing the way he wants you to play. You're killing him. So I said, I'm going to challenge you guys today. You got Kansas coming here, number five team in the country. There's nobody, you understand, there's nobody that believes you guys can win today. Nobody. I said, but guess what? Coach Huggins can't play. Coach Harrison can't play. Coach Martin. None of the coaches, managers. Guess what, fellas? You're the only ones that can do this. You're the only ones that can do this. I said, why don't you do me a favor? One time this season, instead of playing for yourself, why don't you play for each other? Why don't you trust each other today? Trust each other. And you know what? And shock America on ESPN, it'll be the lead-in. WVU upsets number five, Kansas. Yeah. And guess what? They win. They storm the court. Mm -hmm. Rest is history. Rest is history. So the biggest shocker would be beating Kansas at Kansas. <laughs> that would be a tough task, too. Oh, my Especially God. Especially after they just went in last night and yeah, beat absolutely. a good TCU team on the road. That was a great game last night. That was night. a great game. I watched it. It was fun to watch that, that game. That was fun to watch. It? Yeah. So, talk about Texas. Talk about Kansas. Let's talk about this. My phone's been blowing up. 
I had to stop. Text messages, phone calls. What happened? What happened? What oh, happened? For, for me too. Yeah, what happened, right? All I'm going to say to people is this. Bob Huggins didn't get rid of him. At all. It was not Coach Huggins. It was a, if you read the release, the athletic department has to make a decision and the athletic department policy, they went against the athletic department policy. Yeah. That's how it came out. It wasn't a violation of team rules. No, it was nothing. There's nothing with it the team. Not a, it had nothing to do with the team. Everything is athletic department. Absolutely. So people say, well, what's that mean? What happened? Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out if it was a policy by the athletic department. Probably could guess what happened. That's yeah. just a guess. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know that for, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, but, I mean, I would guess I, I know mean, what happened. I, I would guess I know what happened, too. Exactly. But right. I, yeah, you don't yeah. know. I don't know. It's never going to come out because of, uh, they even mentioned the Privacy, privacy Act yeah. for players. I mean, people, people. That's that's a privacy thing, you know. That's a yeah, act or whatever. So crazy. I think this is crazy, truck. If we had Sags and Beetle, mm -hmm. which is a big, we're not going to have him. Beetle didn't practice today, did he? No, I didn't think he did. I was there yesterday. I was at yesterday's practice, and he didn't practice. Uh, he's trying to get ready for Kansas. He told me, but. I don't think he's going to be ready. But if we had those two guys. We've got a good chance of winning that game right now. I think we got a chance to win it. Oh, for sure. And here's the other thing. College, college coaching for 40 years, Truck, it's amazing when something happens. Nothing happens. It doesn't last for a long time. Mm -hmm. But a, 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 there's sort of a rallying force within the team going like, okay, hold on a second. All right, we ain't got Wes. Mm -hmm. We ain't got Issa. We ain't got Sags. We ain't got Beetle. And everybody says we ain't got a chance. Yeah. So you know what, fellas? Why don't we why don't we go out there and, and, and lay, it, lay it on the line? Yeah, why not? We don't have nothing else to play well, for. Hey, exactly. <laughs> right? Lay it on the line. I'll tell you the, one thing. The game's on ESPN at 4 o'clock. I'll be watching. I will be watching. So will sure. I. So will so I. I'll just tell you one thing, Coach. Yeah. I am blessed and happy that I've never been on a bad team, you know? Like, yeah, like a bad team. Yeah. Because that, that, you know, that rubs everybody the wrong way. You know what? I can say this. 40 years that I've coached, I can only remember 40 years. And I'm not part of this team anymore because I left two years ago. But being around this team has really hurt me. I had a, we had a bad team when we won 13 games. Uh, the year with after our boy, and, our, the yeah, year after me and KJ Your boy left. Eric Murray. <laughs> Eric Murray. Eric Murray. <laughs> you heard about that knucklehead, oh, did, did, right? A, oh, that's a whole. Did you, hear what, did you hear what he did? Yeah, I heard. That's a whole different story you right You know, of there. all places, of all places, he decides to. One, one of our own. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. Don't surprise me. Oh, my God. That do not surprise me. Little General and Greg Darby? Are you kidding me? Don't surprise me. What's going to happen to him? He's, he's going to. He's back in, he's, inside he, he, again. He, he, yeah, he's going to be. No, he's back inside again right now as we speak. He's where? Back in jail right he's now. He's back in jail, right? Yeah, right now as we speak. Now, what jail is he going to? This local one? Dodger Rich. Is that where he's at? I think so, yeah, as of right now, yep. He could be sentenced for a while now. He'll go to the big one. Maybe. He'll go to the big one for a while. I think he will. I think he will, too. It's not like his first time. Oh, uh, this ain't his first time. No, he's not his first time. This ain't his second time. His track record's not real good. <laughs> his track record, Usain Bolt got the same one. <laughs> Unbelievable.
<laughs> but you say I got, I got, a little, I got, I got a, uh, <laughs> Can you guys appreciate this? I got a little experience <laughs> in the prison system as well. That I have gone three times now to uh, Hazleton Prison in West Virginia. Hazleton Prison. Uh, oh, I heard that's crazy. Hazleton, let me just tell you something. I heard that's crazy. So I've gone up there and uh, spoke with, they give me 30 prisoners every time I go up there and speak. And I speak to 30 prisoners that have served their term and they're going to be released. Mm. So they want me to come in and try to motivate them a little bit, talk to them about what's happening on the outside. Because mm -hmm. they've been on the inside for 10 to 15, 20 years. Yeah, now, they, have, they have no clue. So they've been on the inside. They have no place to eat. They have no place to sleep. They have no place to live. Their families have probably deserted them. I'll tell you one thing. If I'm if I'm in there one time, I'll tell them to release me in the summer. It's unbelievable. It's been a cold winter. Unbelievable. Yeah. They told me, and I understand why now. The reason there's so many people that return to prison mm -hmm. and create and do another crime is because they get three meals a day there. They got a place to sleep. They got health care. I mean, you don't want to be there the rest of your life. And they don't have nothing on but, the outside. But they ain't got nothing on the outside. Yeah. Makes so sense. That's why makes the, sense. Makes sense. Makes really sense. does. That's a whole other topic to talk about. But uh, yeah. our prison system. We're, we'll talk about that another our day. Yeah. Our prison system's crazy. Uh, last thing I want to talk to you about is where do you think you're going to go back? How long you think you'll be here? What do you think your next step is? Uh, give give everybody an idea. Well, what do you think? Well, for me, I think uh, I didn't try Europe. I didn't did Europe. I right. didn't get successful in Europe. But I had bad years in Europe. So right. I think I'm gonna try something else. I think I'm gonna try something. I might. I think I'm gonna go to South America. South America. Actually, a, a deal might be in the works. Really? Next couple of days, so we'll see what happens with that. But so, truck, when this happens, and now you're looking for a new job, do you have you have an agent? Do you have somebody? Yes, I. Got, so he knows you're looking for a job. So now he's working the phones. He's trying to get everybody. He's selling you on teams wherever. Yeah, selling to me, he's selling me teams wherever. So he'll call his team. Right. Oh, send him my profile, send him a couple games right. highlights. Okay. My agent get back to me if the team really likes me. They'll say they'll say truck is in our top 2 right now. Right. So that can you know sometimes I can say I'm going somewhere right. because that's what my agent told me. Right. But sometimes it's it's two guys they choose in between. Right. Sometimes maybe I got the you. edge is to him. Sometimes the, maybe the edge is to me. I got you. So your your agent, have you had the same agent for a while? Yeah, I've had. Or is this, a new one? I, I, no, I, I have the same agent for a while. So which he knows but, you. Yeah, he knows me. Where's he from? He's actually from Pittsburgh, but I, but this deal he he didn't get me my last deal. Who got I kind of got like two agents that I go right, between, right. and it's a guy named Milos. He's actually from Serbia. Right. So that's who I like. I've been dealing with lately. Right. But I'm I, I talk to both of them. I got you. Good for you. All right, buddy. Coach On has been. A I pleasure, know you got somewhere. Always. You got a uh, just just to a basketball game. You got a little I mean, basketball game tonight, right? Yeah. At uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. It's actually interesting to watch the little guy because and, really I, I and I and I'm going to go to uh, you know. I'm always out and about, too. Mm -hmm. There's a high school game tonight. University High School plays first round of their playoffs, state playoffs. Okay, okay. State starts tonight. And university plays at home tonight. I love to watch university play. You, truck, university, KJ, they have two guards. Mm -hmm. They're the real deal. I mean, they're, they're real deal. Well, they won tonight. I'm actually, I'll go catch a game. They're good. They so, won tonight. I'll go catch a game. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Courtside with Billy Hahn. 
will be seen tomorrow on dominionpost.com. Look up dominionpost.com on the, on the website, and they have, a, they have a thing you click on there, and you can uh, see this podcast. I want to I thank our sponsors, the Dominion Post and the Green Turtle here for having, having me and my guest come in here and enjoy an hour with everybody. So we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Again, Truck Bryant, love you, dog. <laughs> love you, dog. Thanks, man. Thank Good to see you. Thanks. <laughs>